Our study, apalutamide for high-risk localized prostate cancer following radical prostatectomy, was a phase two open-label trial um, that we completed um, recently. What makes this study so groundbreaking is that you have to realize that there'll be 300,000 new cases of prostate cancer in the United States. Approximately 15% of them will be high-risk localized disease. Of those patients that undergo a radical prostatectomy, 45 to 65 percent of these patients will fail their radical prostatectomy within five years. So what we are looking at is can we use apalutamide plus ADT after surgery to improve those outcomes? And if you look specifically at the literature, that in two years, most patients, 25 percent of the patients, will fail their surgery. So I think this is going to be a paradigm shift for prostate cancer, which is really no different than colon cancer or lung cancer, where we use combination systemic therapy with surgical therapy to improve outcomes. As we've stated, these patients do so poorly. Can we, can we combine surgery with apalutamide and ADT to improve outcomes and allow our patients to live longer? The data that we present shows that we have a biochemical free survival rate of 100% at two years. Um, so we are waiting the results of the Proteus trial, which is complementary to the APA-RP trial that we presented, and that will tell us definitively whether apalutamide plus ADT will improve metastasis-free survival and eventually overall survival, biochemical-free survival. Uh, so the Cytokick study is a trial using a combination of two medicines, nivolumab and cabozantinib, uh, in conjunction with surgery to treat metastatic kidney cancer. So what's different about this study is that traditionally we've either gone directly to surgery and then given patients medicines, or used medicines only and not done surgery, where with Cytokick we're doing three months of medicines, then surgery, then more medicines. Uh, sure, so this is a, a trial in progress, so enrollment is ongoing. Um, but we did look at specifically a safety question uh, going into the study where because of the half-life of cabozantinib, which is a long-acting drug, we wanted to make sure there weren't going to be any issues uh, with patients going to surgery. We initially held cabozantinib for three weeks prior to cytoreductive surgery. We saw no safety concerns and were able to reduce that down to two weeks. So patients get three months of therapy, holding cabozantinib for two weeks prior to surgery, have cytoreduction, and then go back on drug. It's really exciting for us to be featured in the Learning Lab. Again, it's a tribute really to our patients and their families for believing in the research and volunteering to participate, as well as the fantastic behind the scenes uh, clinical research teams at all of our participating sites, Cleveland Clinic, Columbia University, Rutgers Cancer Institute, and The Ohio State University. The, the treatment for kidney cancer continues to evolve rapidly. Specifically, the role of cytoreductive surgery continues to be a major question. Uh, we hope that by using this method of systemic therapy followed by surgery, followed by more systemic therapy, we'll be able to uh, really advance the field and help patients get the best outcomes we can enter.